Today's letter is D for Daria. We're going to explore this series. And for those of you who don't know what the Mystery Day test is, I'll explain it for you. We look at a variety of series, my favorites, from A to Z. And for each series, we look at whether an episode first passes the Bechdel test, where we would have two women who talk to each other about something other than a man. The second part of the episode determines whether the show passes the Mr. J test. Two characters who are not white talk to each other about something other than a white person. And then the third part of the episode is the unicorn bonus round, ding, 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 where we see if there are two non-white female characters in the show who talk to each other about something other than a man or a white person. So as I mentioned, we're on D for Daria, one of my favorite shows. Does it pass the Bechdel test? Well, I would hope so, since there are so many female characters on this show and they talk to each other a lot. The scene that qualifies is from the pilot, season one, episode one, called The Seamsters, where Daria and Quinn start school at Lawndale High. And Daria tells Quinn that she is exempt from the psychological test. She's not. They both have to take the test anyway. But so far, we're on a good start. It passes the Bechdel test in its first episode. Great! So now we're moving on to the Mr. J test. Does Daria have two non-white characters who talk to each other about something other than a white person? Well, it does. Uh, we have Mac and we have Jody, two characters who are both black and they're also the only black students in the school that we ever see. There are many episodes where they talk to each other. One of my favorite storylines in the entire series is when Jody has to talk to her father, who is also black, about her decision to go to college. He wants her to go to Crestmore University since it's such a prestigious school. But Jody wants to go to Turner, which is the university that her father went to. It also happens to be an HBCU. Jody really wants to go to Turner because she doesn't want to feel like the black student all the time, like she does in Lawndale. At Crestmore, she'd be among really, I guess, qualified people, hopefully, and probably some legacies that aren't so qualified. But she'd be the black student. At Turner, she'd just be another student because, you know, most of the rest of the people would be going to that university are black too. And she wouldn't feel like she's, she has to bear this burden anymore. So I really like the fact that in the final <laughs> movie of the series, Jody really steps up to her father, or tries to at least. In the end, um, her parents finally come around because Mac really helps them to see that Jody wasn't kidding about what she was saying. She really does want to go to Turner. And she ends up going to Turner, which is great. Hey, so the series does pass the Mr. J test. Woo! All right. Does Daria pass the unicorn bonus round? Ding, 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 ding. Well, according to my research, it doesn't because I couldn't find a scene where you had two non-white women talking to each other about something other than a man or a white person. However, my research is not comprehensive. So if any of you find a scene in Daria where there are two non-white women talking to each other about something other than a man or a white person, please let me know. And I will be happy to, uh, to check it off my list. So that is it for our episode today. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're keeping track, the next episode will be E. So bye for now.